God's story, Nicodemus. So part of God's story is about a man named Nicodemus, and it goes like this. Nicodemus was a well-known Pharisee in his town. A Pharisee was a religious leader who studied God's laws and knew lots of God's rules. The Pharisees were supposed to show people how to honor God by keeping his law, but they didn't always do that. They weren't always kind to people and sort of acted like know-it-alls. But Jesus was kind to everyone. So the Pharisees decided they didn't like Jesus and mistreated those who followed him. Like most Pharisees, Nicodemus thought he knew everything about God. But when Nicodemus heard about the miracles Jesus performed, like turning water into wine, Nicodemus wanted to learn more about Jesus. Because it wasn't cool for a Pharisee to be seen speaking to Jesus, Nicodemus went to him at night. Most people would have probably been asleep when Nicodemus arrived, but Jesus was happy to meet him. Since Nicodemus believed Jesus was sent from God, he trusted Jesus' opinion and began to ask Jesus important questions. He said, you are a teacher who has come from God. We know that God is with you. If you weren't, you couldn't do the signs you were doing. Jesus replied, what I'm about to tell you is true. No one can enter God's kingdom unless they are born with water and the Holy Spirit. You should not be surprised when I say, you must all be born again. Nicodemus asked, how can this be? Although Nicodemus was a smart man, he had no idea what Jesus was talking about. See kids, Jesus did not mean Nicodemus needed to be born from his mother again. But what Jesus was teaching Nicodemus was new. Jesus explained the only way Nicodemus could see God and go to heaven was by having a relationship with Jesus. We all need Jesus to rescue us. And because Jesus is God's son, he's able to save us from our sins. Sin is any time we disobey God. So it doesn't matter how smart we are or how much we know about the Bible, when we have a relationship with Jesus, he forgives our sins. This was important for Nicodemus to know and for us to understand too. Jesus said, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. Hmm. Being born again doesn't mean you'll never make a mistake. But when you do, you can pray to God and ask for forgiveness. God loves us so much, he sent Jesus so we can continue to live or be born again. And that's the story of Nicodemus. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Nicodemus was a Pharisee. He talked to Jesus. Jesus told him how to be born again. We can all be born again. And that's a part of God's story.